guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena and today we have a wig review, actually two wigs. So I'm coming to you fresh with the bonnet and blowouts. Well, just my, my leave out is a blowout. I will be reviewing Finger Comber. So Finger Comber is an online uh, business that specialize in making synthetic natural hair units. They are beautiful. For five years straight, I've been staring at their website, just never buying the bullet and getting one for myself, but your girl got a raise this winter break, so you know I got a little extra cash in my pocket. So I decided to finally buy a wig. Actually, I bought two of them, that's right. So today we have two reviews for you, so let's start. So the first unit that we're going to be reviewing is called the Natural Journey Goals. And here she is. Look at her. She is a beauty. I don't know the full length of this hair. I will venture to say around 18 inches. Maybe, yeah, 18 inches. The texture for this unit is absolutely gorgeous. You have this beautiful, luscious, like, blowout hair. And at the very end, it's almost like a little, like you had a curl wand. You just curled it ever so softly. And to see that it's um, throughout the entire unit, it's I'm amazed by her artist and her team that does these handcrafted. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So I don't think... I will have an issue blending this with my 4C hair, but remember my hair is blown out, so hopefully that will work out well. The comb or the wig construction is as such. You have one comb in the front, then you have another comb up and bottom, and that is it, gals. For me, personally, I would consider this to be a half wig because most of our units are made to be worn with leave outs. I know sometimes you can finesse the game and do a no leave out for some of her units, which I'm going to attempt today. But I personally, for me, when I have a wig unit constructed such as this, just two combs in the front and back, I consider those half wigs, no matter what. For me, a full wig has lace. I need a frontal in there, I need something in there to help me not to wear my hair all out. So I personally would consider it to be a half wig. So keep that in mind when it comes to very construction. I mean, so far, I love it without attempting to blend it at all. I'm pretty... I love it a lot. It's a lot of hair though. It is a lot of hair. Don't you hate product residue? Oh my gosh, it's the worst thing ever. The worst thing is setting your hair a product and then you try to take it out after it dries and it is flaky. Flakes is the bane of my existence. That's why I try not to use um, any hair gels anymore. I'm trying to step away from that. So I have a mirror right here, so I'm just staring to myself. This hair is huge. Good God. Godly. Look at it. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this. This is a very full, full, full unit. Jesus Lord. I want you guys to see the back as well. Like I said before, oof. I like this unit. It is super full. I would venture to say it's more like a 20 inches kind of hair length. And I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It's giving me a Diana Ross vibes. It's fun, it's vibrant. I do think I can do a better job at blending my hair with it. I feel like my hair, I don't know if it's the color or the fact that my natural hair is experiencing a high level of flakiness. But it, it kind of, I don't know, maybe just being super subconscious, but I can kind of see my hair and the wig. But I just think I need a better job at blending uh, my leave out and hopefully use better products so it can blend in seamlessly. But I don't think that you necessarily need to bump the ends or like curl like the unit itself i think a simple blowout and you're good to go honestly this is super cute if you're not one for big hair if you're a big hair don't care kind of girl this unit is for you what do you guys think i really like this unit it's super gorgeous huh i can't stop like touching it it's just really cute 
I look so crazy. Okay, so the next unit that I'm going to be reviewing is called the Soft Kinks. This one is shorter, has a more tighter curl pattern, kind of like a braid out. And it too also have like the bumps uh, or the ends of the hair curled as if you put like a perm rod at the end and curled them. Um, I will say off the back, this wig is less full versus the Natural Journey Goals. And when I say less full, I mean like my fingers are poking through it and I don't like this. This makes me nervous because, you know, I just get whatever wig cap I get for free sometimes. And I, I personally think this is going to like show, um, my wig cap is going to show through the unit. And for this one, I'm going to attempt to not show, not to have any leave out because I would have to braid my hair and un unravel it and I ain't got time today. So again, the same construction as the other unit. You have a comb on the top, comb on the bottom, and that is it, girlies. I still, like before, categorize it as a half wick. Personally speaking, I just prefer to have combs like on the side versus here. Just because the combs here, they hurt my scalp versus it having on the side. Now I can't even see my eyes. I'm just zooming it up. I like this. It's a little... I feel like I can use more wefts though. Like here, it feels very full and luscious, but then... If you notice here, there just seems to be like a weird, like, choppiness to it. Like, it's nice and cute, then it needs like another layer of hair, and then this hair, it's like a disconnect between. Do you guys understand? It's not flowing like it is on this side. Like, it's like a weird cut. I don't know why. I like it. Let me look at the back. Can you see my wig cap? Do you see it? I can't tell. Okay, so I had to pause and I watched my playback and I saw my wig cap. Ah, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. This unit is gorgeous in terms of the curl pattern. I mean, look at this. And you can play it up and zhuzh the hair up a bit. And so you don't need necessarily need your leave out, which is great for the 4C girls, because sometimes I don't want to go through such manipulation just to match a damn wig. However, where's the hair? I need more hair. I just need more hair. Because I'm not going to go out and get a wig. <sighs> I mean, yes, I can go out and get a black wig cap, but I just don't think that it, it sh that should be a um, necessary. I personally think the hair just needs to be fuller. But pros and cons. Let's start off with negativity and chaos. Cons. So, this one is okay when it comes to density and fullness. And by okay, okay, I mean it is, it's full. However, with the soft kinks, it needed more wefts. For that price tag, to have my fingers showing through the wig cap and you can actually see my I'm sorry my fingers throwing showing through the wig construction and when I did put on the unit you saw my actual wig cap like that's not okay at all at all so I'm a little bit nervous about purchasing other units because unless it's something like this am I just going to have like sparse hair i think the soft kinks could have benefited from get, having either double wefts or just more wefts included onto the actual unit and that's a bit of a letdown especially with that price tag 88 dollars for the soft kinks and yet my i have to like go out and buy a black wig cap which i currently do not own it's a bit ridiculous speaking of price let's move on to our second con price 88 dollars for one unit $98 for this one, the Natural Journey Goals. These prices are expensive for synthetic hair. Don't get me wrong. 
the synthetic hair this is it feels really nice obviously it does not feel like human hair it is super gorgeous i think finger comber is unique in relation to sensation alche where their wigs to me looks far more realistic versus sensational or alche sometimes those wig although the price tag is fantastic i mean girl 40 dollars or less or even 30 bucks is fantastic but I, you know sometimes i walk through the hair store or look online and they just look very synthetic it looks very fake versus when i go on finger comber and i see people wear them on instagram or on the models on the website it looks believable so gorgeous so <sighs> despite the price i will state that i'm more than willing to give this business my money for that because i do think this particular unit is awesome and i like to support small business versus like a bigger brand but the business owner is well within a right to price their items how they see fit and if she feels that it's worth 90 dollars and that's how they feel that it's worth $98. And I will support that and I will pay for it. Not for soft kinks though. But that's all for negativity. Let's go on to positivity with the pros. The pros, as I probably stated earlier before, texture. Look at this. Get Look into this. Look into this. As I mentioned before, unlike Sensational, I think Finger Comber offers better natural hair texture that feels more realistic versus Outre and Sensational or any other brand you could probably think of. I mean, you can make anything work, but for me, Finger Comber got it. Shipping. Shipping was surprisingly fast. I think in the past, I heard shipping was considerably low, so I was a little bit nervous, but I bought this wig last week and then I got the week the following Thursday, so shipping was awesome. And then my last pro, which might seem a little weird for others, but it's the smell. Or should I say the scent, the aroma of this unit is freaking amazing. It is, yeah. I don't know about y'all, but I have purchased weave quite often from different vendors here and there. And no matter what, whether it's synthetic and or human hair, they just have a scent. A scent that I cannot smell. And no, no matter how much shampooing and conditioning and washing I would do to the wefts or the unit or extensions, clippings, what have you, they all have that, that factory stench. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. And I just cannot get rid of this. However, when I open my package, it just has this aroma. Not too strong. You really have to have the box to your face. And it just, it was just, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I feel really fucking weird just smelling my hair right now but it is so nice even my cat liked it my cat was up in that box i don't girl i don't what are you spraying on these please let me know it's really delicious it's just a very soft unassuming scent and if you are sensitive to scents trust me you will like this because i don't wear perfume because it gives me a headache and this smells nice but you literally have to put your nose to it oh my god to smell it and it smells really good please tell me what you guys think how do you feel about these two units what's your favorite natural journey goals or the soft kinks i will be doing a two-month review afterwards and see how well these units hold up and if it truly is worth your 98 dollars or 88 dollars i'm just saying but thanks so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye